has two parts to it. I only put this on for my skin. She's looking good. Very moisturized, no rash. That it just makes you look like you're rich. <laughs> if, um, please stop wasting my time. Hey guys, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Look what we have here. <laughs> I am back with another empties. Now, I'll be honest, this is a collection of my previous empties in the past. Yes, I've just been collecting my trash without throwing it away, which is a problem, I will say, and I will get to it. But yeah, today I thought I'd talk about my recent empties, just talk about what I've been using and all that. So the first couple of products, I'm just gonna whisk through because I feel like I, you guys have already seen me talk about the gazillion times. First, I have the So Good Fit So Calm Toner Pad. Yup, I empty one out every single month. If you guys are on hunt for that really calming, soothing, gentle toner pad to use in the summer, this is going to be your gal. And they're having like an Amazon Prime sale right now, so make sure to take advantage. This, I'm not 100% done. You can see I have a little bit of left, uh, but you guys know this is also one that I always empty out. This is Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Light Cleansing Oil. It is one of the lightest cleansing oils I've ever tried. It's one of my faves in the K Beauty market. So I love using this and I think this is gonna last me for like five days, I wanna say, like a week. So yeah, I just brought it because I know I'm gonna be done with it soon. Um, yes, we have another one of the Barrito. Oh, they changed their name by the way. They changed it to Unscented Centella Serum. Centella Unscented Serum? They changed the name, so it's so much shorter, which I really do appreciate because I cannot, no, I cannot, it's too long, I'm so sorry, but I also emptied out one of this. Um, I still have a bit left, but I'm pretty much done. This is like water for my skin, every young, mm -hmm. so straight after I come out of my shower, I just like pour this over and I'm good to go. This is really basic though, I will say, but I feel like that's one of the reasons why I think it will appeal to so many people, especially in the hot weather, because it has Centella, it's very light, it's very refreshing, it doesn't leave any like sticky residue. I think guy friends would really like this, yes. It, and it's, it makes a very good first layer of your skincare because it's that much light. So I know it's called a serum, but I do like to use it as like an essence, but this is fabulous, fantastic, yes, yes, yes. Okay, now we're gonna talk a little bit more in depth because I emptied this out, guys. This is the time about White Truffle Deborah Serum and Cream. Okay, first, you guys know I absolutely love Taiba. It's honestly one of my absolute favorites. Not only do I love their first spray serum, but I love their cream, I love their double layer serum, I love their SPS. I just, all of their products hit such hard homes with me. I don't know if that's even an expression, but you guys know what I mean. And so this is also a cream that I absolutely adore and I've had it in my collection forever and I was actually about to use it up when Taiba reached out and they're like, hey, you wanna collab? And I was like, Talk about impeccable timing. Coincidental but believable. Yes, life is all about timing. To believe in destiny, I believe in destiny very much so. So I was just like, yes. So I recently mentioned this in one of my recent Olive Young uh, videos where I talked about this, how this is a fabulous product to check out during the summer because, <gasps> are you guys ready? Okay, mine's really messy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hey, but you know what's messy? When you've really, really made a good use out of a product, okay? And I still do have a little bit left, but I still wanted to show you guys. So this has two parts to it. You have the Aqua Serum on to your left, and then you have the Nourishing Cream to your right. So it has two layers, and you can mix, match, customize, hocus pocus, do whatever you want with this cream, which I thought was genius because I think it especially gets a little difficult to moisturize your face during the summer times just because like in Korea, for example, like it's so humid, but then you go inside a building and the AC is on to the max, so it's really dry, and then you sweat a lot, but then if you go inside, the sweat dries up real quick. And if you have combo skin like myself, you know, you have oily teeth, but you have very, very dry cheeks, which is affected by the humidity and also the AC. So it's like, it's honestly, it's so much drama, okay? It's unnecessary drama that I do not need to deal with, okay? I already have so much problems that are going on already, I know. So with the act serum like it's same it's very hydrating and what's interesting is that it looks like a gel cream but it feels a little different it almost feels like aloe gel but it doesn't have like the dryness or like the stickiness that aloe gels have sometimes but this is just this just melts right in 
It really hydrates your skin. And the aqua Cera, it actually contains ceramide and pea. I did not realize this. It's a teleazetic extract and pathanol. So it's not only going to hydrate, but it's also going to fortify your skin barrier, which I think is fabulous. And then to the other side, you have the more apparent, nourishing, thick, luscious cream. This is perfect if you have more dry cheek areas or just any dry patches across your face or your body even. And then this intense cream has eight layers of blend oils in it and also has vegan collagen with white flower extract and this is going to help with elasticity the nourishment you know help with appearance of fine lines and such lovely so like I said you can use this however you want and actually I've been getting red light therapy almost every day at the end of the night and of course I go to the special like tanning place and this is all I take really because I go there straight after my workout so I have so much stuff to carry with me anyway so I really don't have any strength to further carry my whole skincare routine so I'll just take this and then I'll either just you know use the aqua serum on my t-zone and then the intense cream from chicories or I'll, if I'm really like feeling tired and I just want to get home I'll just do a nice concoction do like a one-to-one -one ratio or two-to-one ratio even mix it all up and just apply it I'm good to go it's so easy it's so simple and yet it works and it does hydrate and nourish your skin very very well so I've been getting the red light therapy for like two weeks even after like the first week of just consistently using this I was just like my skin okay I know I only put this on but my skin she looking good she looking very moisturized nourished so I absolutely love the idea I love how it feels on my skin and you guys know that Taiba their main market ingredient is the white truffle it's very very bougie it's a very expensive ingredient it's got great antioxidant properties too oh yes I do want to mention this does have fragrance which I absolutely love. It feels like I've been transported to... Where are you taking me? Oh, I want to say something tropical, but like a tropical resort, like a tropic, like a luxurious resort in the tropical island. I love every bit of it, and it is on sale. They're having a fantastic Amazon Prime sale, so take advantage. I think this is definitely worth checking out. With the packaging, with the marketing, just everything, everything's so luxurious, but with Amazon Prime Sale, you can get it so much cheaper, or you can get it at a, such a great deal. So make sure to check it out. You guys know, Daiba is like one of my absolute favorite brands. No doubt about my love towards this brand. And honestly, I've emptied out so many of their products without really mentioning them in my videos, like their double layer serum as well. And I also emptied out another product. I don't know if they sell this, and I don't know, it's like at the end, yeah, it's right there. I'm sorry, I cannot get up with this mother of a bag on me, but I'll do an insert. So I also emptied that out, so be sure to check it out, guys. Absolutely love. Okay, moving on. I see two sunscreens. Yes, the clothes are one and oh I know I emptied up Dr. Suricle yes 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 this is my second one so uh, I, I know I mentioned like the first one I emptied in my last month's empties but I did another one oops I did again actually it's not a mistake I used this with every intention that I had it was absolutely wonderful I, this is a Dr. Circle Heal Real Youth Moist Sun it was in my glow up box I hope you guys enjoyed it this is fantastic and then I also emptied out the Cosrx Ultra Light Invisible Sunscreen I did recently a collab with them um, for like the Korean market and I really enjoyed this this is one of the parts that I, I kind of found myself reaching my like hand off for and those are ones you know where it's like really good so just to differentiate the two both are actually uh, chemical SPFs and both are very light both are very like lotion like but the difference is that this one is definitely gives you that extra glow it really does give you that va va boom glass skin look whereas this one is a little bit more chill it's like it's just really basic it doesn't like its name invisible you don't really notice that dewiness afterwards although i will say it's not really matte so it does hydrate your skin to some certain extent <laughs> but anyways i uh, loved it both i'm actually using the second top of the cosars you know what guys i'm like this is i'm so blessed to be in this position like i have so many great sunscreens that i want to try out or oh, like i have so many lined up yes that's what i want to say so i have the rata plan 
This is the Minari Kami sunscreen. Um, I also did like a collab with them recently, but it's really good, guys. Like this sunscreen and the Kozar X one. And of course, Dr. Stroka has so many great sunscreens. Like, I love their uh, Sika Region one, which is 100 mil waterproof. I have that back there as well. I also love the Nocebo one. This is a fantastic, fantastic sunscreen. So, let me know which one you guys are using. Right, no. But for now, me Seb, I am using this one. You know what, guys? Why am I hugging and holding on to this like an imbecile? So let me get the two parts out and I'll set this down because it's too big. Okay, next two of these. Are you sick of these yet? Yes, I have the VT Rito Shaw 100 and then the VT PDR and Essence. And I truly feel like a broken record now that I explain this. I just did like a whole video on it yesterday that I uploaded yesterday. So if you guys want to check out in details, do check it out. But I do like to use 100 for my, like it's my go-to just because it's not thing, nothing too cray cray. I know my mother does 700. I'm like, dear lord, does that, you know, does that not feel painful? She's like, it's worth the pain. What's that saying? No pain, no gain? Yeah, I know. I was just like, damn. The hundreds, what I will use. I like it. It's safe. It's like no brainer for me. So I have emptied out. Ooh, it's very dirty. Sorry. I was, I was going to show you up close, but it's like really. So just to put it really briefly, guys, with the VT Riddle Shot, it's basically an excellent product to incorporate as a first step of your skincare because it's going to really give you that extra push just in case maybe you felt like your skincare game was kind of in a rut and you just needed like an extra kick. This, because it has the micro needles, which are actual needles, you guys know by now, um, they're going to basically create more pathways for like any actives or any other ingredients that you apply I uh, get absorbed a lot deeper. So you, this is really going to step it up the whole thing. It's going to change the game. Now with that in mind, you do want to be a little careful just in case, you know, because these are micro needles and they're opening up a pathway, which means that your skin might be a little bit more, you know, oof, like open to more stuff with that, if you know what I mean. So even though I do love it, I do want to mention, please proceed with caution. Like make sure you have the right skin for it. Make sure to skip on it. If your skin's not up to it, that's what I do. Or I just put it on my t-zone or i skip completely from my skin's like nah not today girl we're shutting the you know we're shutting the door down and so another empty i have is this now this is something that girl if you guys been liking my recommendations you will have no regrets no regrets and i'm telling you guys you guys probably saw in my latest collab video with ara we were like going crazy over it seriously um like i said this is the pdr and an essence and I love that <laughs> Oh, I still have some left. Honestly, guys, because it's kind of hard to tell whether you finish this up. I've lost track. I know I finished up three tubs for sure. And I think this may be my fourth tub. I still have some left, apparently. But yeah, you have you get this really beautiful milky lotion, cream, melted cream formulation. You just work it into your skin. And the glow is so so different. It's so it's on another level in the sense that it just makes you look like you're rich. <laughs> I know. And actually, I take that back because I I really haven't been around rich people to to say how they. Look. Anyway, so everything soaked in so well that it just makes you look like you have really really healthy skin. Like you've got that eight hour or ten hours of sleep. So I absolutely love it. You pair it, if you pair it with the Rito shot, it's you know cherry on top but even without it sometimes i just use this and a very like a light toner like a the tokto toner yeah i pair it with those two and it just works fine as well especially under makeup yes this is definitely one of my favorite products to prep my makeup with but i will say this is more on the thicker side if you have like oily skin maybe you want to check out other options that's fine that's great or maybe you just want to use a bit of it and just apply it on the dry parts of your face etc i actually have so many open that i'm actually surprised i even have an empty i have like six six backups back there so anyways let's move on oh they're also having an amazon sale so if you guys are interested on checking actually i think most of the parts that i'm mentioning are having amazon sale so 
I'll leave all the deep down below. I also emptied out this mother. I'm so proud of myself for emptying this out. This mother body lotion. This is the Estura Atomary 365. What I realized about myself, I don't. I realized that I don't really like scents in my body products, which is weird because I really don't mind scents in my skincare as long as it's not like too overpowering. Like the Tidal one, it has a beautiful scent. I just can't get enough. But this one is not scented, and I think that's one of the reasons why I keep going back to it. And it's in a pump, and it actually absorbs really, really well into my skin. So I've noticed that some body lotions, like some of them really do not want to cooperate. <laughs> they do not want to get absorbed into your skin. I'm just like, um, please stop wasting my time, you know? But this one works superbly, and what I'll do is that I'll do a pump of this, and then pump of the Illyun oil, which I have a little bit of left, and then I'll just slather this one. My body it feels super amazing and I feel like Estura, they know what they're doing especially if you have like really sensitive skin Oh my gosh, do you guys remember when I used to be like in the summer like I would start scratching my skin like crazy in the middle of the night because it gets dried out from the sweat, all the sweating I've done I don't have that anymore, I just, I just realized that I think it may be because I done such a good job in moisturizing my skin so yeah I would definitely recommend. I will repurchase it, but I have so many other body lotions like in my collection that I want to use them up first. But I definitely do recommend. Oh, did I mention? I also emptied out this mini size of the Dr. Surico Vega Kombucha Tea Essence. Absolutely love. I have the full size. This was in the Glow Up box. It was one of the samples that I was giving to you guys. And I'm so thankful that Dr. Surico was able to give this to us. Oh, yes, I have a backup of this. This is fantastic, guys. I love mini sample sizes especially when you're traveling I swear they're the best so I emptied it out this is more of like a nourishing juicy milky toner I swear it's like the dupe for the Laneige cream skin refiner before they upgraded it because that's the version that I like the best but yeah I swear it's the perfect dupe so I've been really really enjoying that one um I think I've mentioned these in my past empties so I'm gonna skip over these but yeah I think that's about it all right guys that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed my empties and I'm so sorry if I kept touching my head too much it's really bothering me I think I need to get a haircut but let me know which of the products you've emptied out this month I would love to know for sure Also make sure to check out all of the sales that's going on I mean the sales are really good like We're talking about 50%, 60% So get your hands on it Take advantage Check out the Thai Bak Cream They're having another fantastic Amazon sale But yeah Alright guys Make sure to give this video a thumbs up And I'll see you guys in the next Ciao